And we start this week's sports report with Raiders boys lacrosse, who after a solid victory over Brookline on Friday, were ready for another Herget Division matchup, this time against the Norwood Mustangs. In the first, it was lights out for Wellesley as the Raiders offense scorched the Mustangs defense. After winning the opening faceoff, it takes only six seconds for Kerry Line to score. This one on a nice feed by John Caraviello. Minutes later, Line returns the favor as Caraviello easily hits left corner net for Raiders' 3 0 lead. Norwood's Danny Farrell steps up for the Mustangs as his shot just squeezes by goalie Tim Rahill, making it 3 1 Wellesley. But Raiders continue their offensive attack, scoring seven unanswered in the first quarter alone including this outstanding goal by Matt Jama, who backhands it in and an impressive 360 spin and shoot move by Jack Vanderbilt. Raiders huge 13 to one halftime lead is without a doubt a tough one for Norwood to overcome. Second half and up by a ton, Raiders can easily rest their starters and have their bench get some valuable minutes as they go deeper into the season. Goals by John Fadul, Aiden James and Andrew Smith do just that and add to the Mustangs pounding. Two more goals by Norwood's leading scorer Danny Farrell do little to make any impact down 19-4 as Raiders goalie Tim Rahill has another solid game defensively, keeping the Mustangs in check. Wellesley wins this one easily to the final score 19-4. With the victory, Raiders qualified for the postseason tournament for an outstanding 12th consecutive season in a row. After back-to-back -back road losses to Newton North and Braintree, Raiders baseball team was eager to play at Sprague and start another winning streak in a Bay State Conference matchup against the Framingham Flyers. And Raiders bats are ready to go early in the first with runners on second and third, freshman Taylor Beckett at the plate. Beckett drives a Noah Gelman pitch down the third base line and into left field, scoring Jack Dolan and Peter Stabnick. Raiders quickly up 2-0. Two batters later, a great catch by Flyers center fielder Joel Ortiz gets the out. Beckett tags up and scores on Jack Porter's sack fly. 3-0 Wellesley. Behind five innings of solid pitching from Connor Russell and a Raiders 4-1 lead, the Flyers' bats remain stymied until we go to the top of the seventh. Connor Hinstead is on the mound in relief. Framingham makes things interesting as they get to within one run. After a Taylor Beckett throwing error scores two, Hinstead gets Julia Timbero to ground out, ending the inning, and Wellesley holding on to a 4-3 lead. Bottom half of the same fifth with runners on the corners. Flyers try to get Peter Stabnick caught in a rundown, but Framingham shortstop cannot catch the relay. Stabnick is safe and Jack Dolan crosses home plate safely, scoring the Raiders' fifth run of the game. Taylor Beckett then drives in Peter Stabnick with his third RBI of the game. The Raiders start to pull away here, leading 6-3. After adding two more Wellesley runs, Flyers leave a runner stranded in the top of the ninth as Jack Dolan makes the final out of the game. And after scoring three runs early in the first, Wellesley does not look back in this one as the Raiders beat Framingham by the final score, eight to three. Coming in at six, five and one and playing only their fourth game of the season at Sprague, the Raiders girls lacrosse team hope for some home field advantage in a Bay State Conference matchup with the Braintree Wongs. The Raiders offense looks solid right from the very start and after taking advantage of a Womps penalty and key passes to open teammates, Wellesley jumps out to a 3-1 lead in just the opening minutes of the first half. And the opening half belonged to Tri-Captain Ashton Krasikis, who aggressively took charge, attacking the net and dominating faceoffs again and again. And while Womps goals by Payne and Burchill cut the Raiders' lead 6-3, Ashton Krasikis' three goals and two by Caroline Allieri Help Wellesley go into halftime up 9-3. Well, the offense dominated the day. Not to be outshined was the solid defensive effort behind net from Raiders goalie Kylie Boyle. The Spring Tree saw many of their opportunities derailed by Boyle. It was just that kind of game for the Raiders where everything went Wellesley's way. The offense and defense played solid and precise passing easily contributed to a 15-5 lead late in the second half. With a huge 10-point lead, time is not stopped, so the final whistle quickly comes as the Raiders blow out the Braintree Wants 15-5 at Spray. The Raiders get their seventh win of the season and stay in playoff contention. For this week's Raiders Sports Report, I'm Rebecca Karen.